Hi Year 3, it's Miss Torbett. So in maths this week, we're going to be looking at statistics. We're going to start today with pictograms. So you might remember pictograms from some of the work we did in class before. Um, it's basically a chart that just uses pictures to represent numbers. And it's set out in the same way as a bar chart, but instead of bars, you just have columns of pictures to show your numbers. So we're going to follow the steps of success today, which are really going to help us understand the information we're looking at. OK, our pictogram. So our pictogram today is based on this lovely boy called Amir. Now, he counted the colours of cars outside his school and he put that data into a pictogram, which looks like this. So our first step is to read the headings. So we've got our title here, cars passing outside school. If I look at the bottom here, it tells me the colour of cars. And at the side here, it's telling me the number of cars. So I've got black, silver, blue, white and red. Now, be careful. You don't just want to count the dots because I could look here and go, oh, silver, number of cars, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six. No, 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 no. You must read the key, which is over here. Now, the key tells you how many one picture represents. So each of these green dots are not actually representing one, they're representing two. So I need to count in twos to find out the number. So if I counted up my silver cars in twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, I have twelve silver cars here. Okay, let's have a look at some of the questions that you might see when you're looking at statistics. So for our pictogram today, question one, how many black and white cars were seen? So simple, we need to see how many black cars were seen, how many white cars were seen and add them together. So black, two, four, got four black cars, white, two, four, six. So if I've got four black, six white, add them together. Four and six equals 10. How many red cars did he see? OK, let's look at this question too. Ah, so I'm looking here at the red cars. Now, I know one circle represents two, but I've got half a circle here. It's quite simple. You just need to half the number. Half of two is one. So two add one equals three. OK, our third question. How many more silver cars were there than black cars? This is a how many more question. They can also be called what's the difference. Now, there's two ways you can solve this kind of question. You can count on. So first thing we have to do is actually work out how many silver cars there are and how many black cars. So we already counted up silver on the other slide and we remember there was 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And black cars here, I have got 4, 2, 4. So you can just put 4 in your head and count on, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, I've got the number eight. Now the other way you could do it is you could do a subtraction. If you know you've got 12 here and four here, just do 12, take away four. Put 12 in your head, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. I'm getting the answer eight. Now another thing that you can do is you can have a little doodle on your kitchen is what I like to do. So here, this is where our numbers are the same. We've got four here and we could put a line here to show four on this side. And then above is how many more? Two, four, six, eight. It's another way you could do it. Choose the method that helps you the best or is the easiest for the kind of question you're looking at. Try both. It's a good way of checking your answer. So there are going to be some other questions on these slides. Make sure you work through your steps of success, reading all the headings, reading the key because it's important to know what each picture represents. Make sure you're reading the question very clearly. Think to yourself, what is the question asking me to do? How can I solve it? When you've answered the question, just have a little check. Quickly look at your pictogram again. Quickly look at how you've worked it out to make sure you have used the right method and answered the question correctly. OK, so what can you do if you're still finding this work a bit tricky? So first, make sure you're looking through those steps of success. The steps, taking them one at a time, should help you work out what you're doing. But also have a think, what have you learnt about this? Maybe things that you already know that could help you. Next, have a look through those slides again, the ones that you've been working on today. 
and if you've got a video like this one watch it again see if that helps you and finally try and ask a family member it could be a friend or an adult at home anyone that you think could give you some help but most importantly year three remember working from home is actually really tough and all we want you to do is to try your best but please please do not stress if you're still not quite understanding what you can do is just make a little note of an area that you're finding really tricky and when we are back at school and when you're in your class with your teacher you can tell them what you found tough at home and they can give you some help in the classroom okay good luck everyone chat soon bye bye